All right, hello everyone. This is Paul from SpanishWithPaul.com. And in today's video, I'm going to show you something which is a little bit peculiar. It's something that only happens with a handful of select Spanish verbs, and specifically when you use these verbs reflexively. Now, if all of that sounds like double Dutch to you, I don't want you to worry because over the next few minutes, I'm going to explain it to you in very simple terms so that it becomes something you can add into your own spoken Spanish right away. Now, I'm also going to be referencing things that we covered in the mini course series that I have on YouTube. So if you haven't been through that yet, I've put a link to it in the description box below. That's all coming up next. If becoming fluent in conversational Spanish is one of your goals for this year, then consider clicking the link above to download my free course books that go along with all of my YouTube lessons. You can also subscribe to my channel to get a brand new Spanish lesson from me every single Monday. So with that out of the way, let's get started. What's the verb to go? Ir. And how do you say, I have to? Tengo que. Now say, I have to go. Tengo que ir. If we take the verb ir and we tag on the pronoun of me, the sound that we get is irme. This now carries a literal meaning of to go, myself, irme. So we're now using the verb reflexively, to go myself. Doing so drastically changes the meaning of the verb. For example, tengo que ir means I have to go. This is what we're used to. But tengo que irme means I have to leave. Using the verb reflexively has changed the meaning of this verb quite dramatically from to go into to leave. Let's try it. What is I want? Quiero. And the word for now? Ahora. How would you say I want to go now? Quiero ir ahora. Now, how would you say I want to leave now. Quiero irme ahora. What is I would like? Me gustaría. And what's the word for there? Allí. How would you say I would like to go there? Me gustaría ir allí. What's the word for tomorrow? Mañana. Now, how would you say, I would like to leave tomorrow? Me gustaría irme mañana. What is I can? Puedo. And how do you say later? Más tarde. What is with you? Contigo. Now let's put it together. I can go there later with you. Puedo ir allí más tarde contigo. How do you say, I can't? No puedo. And the word for until? Hasta. Now say this. I can't leave until tomorrow. No puedo irme hasta mañana. So there we had a nice example of a verb that changes meaning when it's used reflexively. So we had, quiero ir, I want to go. 
but quiero irme. Now we're using the verb reflexively. I want to go myself. Changes it into I want to leave. Here's another example for you. The verb to paint in Spanish is pintar. And again, if we tag on the pronoun of me, we get the sound of pintarme. This now changes the meaning into to put on makeup. So we have pintar to paint, but pintarme to put on makeup. How do you say I like? Me gusta. Now say I like to paint. Me gusta pintar. What's the word for I need? Necesito. Now how would you say I need to put on makeup? Necesito pintarme. You can see a literal meaning here of to paint myself. Here is the reflexive or the verb being used reflexively to paint myself. Necesito pintarme. The word for first in Spanish is primero. How would you say first I need to put on makeup? Primero necesito pintarme. How do you say every day? Todos los días. Now say, I like to paint every day. Me gusta pintar todos los días. What about, I like to put on makeup every day? Me gusta pintarme todos los días. For our third example, I've chosen something a little more subtle, meaning that the change in meaning isn't as drastic. It's more connected. Now, there are a few different verbs in Spanish for to try. One of them is probar. How would you say, I want to try? Quiero probar. The word for food in Spanish is comida. This is a feminine word. How would you say the food? La comida. Now, how would you say I want to try the food? Quiero probar la comida. How do you say, I would like? Me gustaría. I would like to try the food here. Me gustaría probar la comida aquí. Now let's see what happens when we use the verb reflexively and we tag on the pronoun of me. We get the sound of Probarme. And this changes the meaning slightly. It goes from to try to to try on. Let's do a side by side comparison. We have probar to try, but probarme to try on. This is now carrying a literal meaning of to try myself. Probarme. The word for the shirt in Spanish is la. Camisa. How would you say, I want to try on the shirt? Quiero probarme la camisa. The word for the dress is el vestido. How would you say, I would like to try on the dress? Me gustaría probarme el vestido. Do you remember the word for first? Primero. How would you say, first, I have to try on the dress?
primero tengo que probarme el vestido. And how would you say, I would like to try the food here? Me gustaría probar la comida aquí. So there again you can see a difference in the meaning of the verb between using it straight, probar, and using it reflexively, probarme. There are a group of other verbs in Spanish that do this as well. Sometimes the change is drastic, and sometimes it's more connected, it's more subtle. It's an example of the kinds of things I cover in the main course, Spanish with Paul. If you're serious about learning Spanish and want to become conversationally fluent, my main course, Spanish with Paul, is live and available for you now. Inside you'll get my complete course, none of which is available on YouTube, and also my personal attention to make sure you achieve conversational fluency in the fastest time possible. In short, if you like my free lessons on YouTube and the results they're giving you, then you'll love what I have for you inside the main course. You can click the link on the screen now to find out all the details. So with that said, I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Thank you.